What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Showdown Live. Today I'm using a team that I call Nightmare, 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 uh, and that's just because it's chancy shenanigans but with an offensive mode. Basically, I mean, like, this isn't really a team I've tested too much, it's a team that I just want to mess around with today, just for the meme of it. Uh, but it revolves around Zamazenta Crowned, you know, it's just going to be able to benefit from people leading off with intimidate users or fake out users like Incineroar uh, because usually that's the way that you would deal with the general chancy strategy of going for guard split shuckle and their trick room and stuff like taunt Incineroar is really good for that so I can catch them you know going for that to counter my chancy strategy uh, by leading off thunderous and Zamazenta crown since I'm able to go for a coaching on top of the plus one that I get from defiant so yeah uh, that's the general gist of the team the rest of it is pretty standard it's really just exactly what you'd expect with chancy shenanigans so, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day, what is the most annoying Pokemon to deal with in VGC? I would definitely say Chansey, even though it's not common. Most of the common Pokemon I don't really care about, so yeah, it's really just like the uncommon stuff that you know what it does and you just really don't want to face it. <laughs> so let's get into it. Normally, Celesteel would be a really bad Chansey matchup since Heavy Slam does more against minimized targets. But, Celesteel is typically a special attacker in this format, so I don't really care. What's their counterplay for this? Um, they really don't have an answer to Chansey if I just go for it. I'm going to lead off Hatterene Leopard and Chansey Shuckle. I'm just not even going to bring the, uh, the other mode here. Yeah, uh, the only thing that could be kind of annoying is Calyrex Shadow, but... As long as I'm able to Toxic it with Shuckle, I should be fine. So I definitely need to prioritize that. And even then, I might be able to just PP stall Calyrex Shadow, given how much uh, PP Chansey has. There's a Celesteel Liopard. I'm just going to go ahead and go for my thing. Max Guard, Copycat. They don't have any priority moves on these guys, typically, unless they're running Sucker Punch Rotom for some reason. Uh, so they won't be able to stop this. They go for the Leech Seed. Makes sense. Go for the Nasty Plot. Uh, I'll just go ahead and max Mindstorm here. And... What can I copycat? I guess I can copycat that... Um, that Nasty Plot, but really gain nothing from it. So, now would be a decent time just to get Enchancy. It's not like they really have anything for this. And I'll just start setting up Minimizes. Okay, they go for the Flash Cannon on the Hatterene, doesn't do too much. This Max Mindstorm's gonna hurt, and they just confirmed special, so I'll go ahead and minimize. On the next turn, if I do just KO this Rotom straight up, uh, I'm gonna go for a Max Smite. Yeah. This isn't really the, if this is like your first time tuning in, this isn't really the type of team I usually play. I'm more of a balance or hyper offense kind of guy, but it's sort of fun just to run this BS once in a while. Especially versus teams that are relatively unprepared like this one. So the Max Mindstorm, I get a KO. They could Leech Seed me, but yeah, they're going to miss. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to ally switch because it'll be really funny. Uh, and they're going to end up getting Leech Seeded themselves on my Hatterene. There's the Landorus. I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Expanding Horse on the Lando and Ally Switch Up. And what this will do is it'll actually cause the Landorus, since it's likely going to go for like a Max Airstream or something into the Chansey, uh, it'll cause the Landorus to actually Max Airstream the Hatterene. Uh, and then I can get in the Shuckle for free and go for my Guard Split, probably just win from that point. Expanding Force does a ton. Oh my god. Leech Seed? Yeah, <laughs> awesome. As they go for the Max Quake. And we still have one turn of Trick Room, so I can Guard Split for free. Let me minimize up and Guard Split. That'll make it so Chansey can definitely take whatever this Landorus is going for. As they miss the Leech Seed. And they go for the Max Quake on the Shuckle. That's fine. Um, I am getting a lot of HP from the Celesteel, which is pretty awesome. Let me, uh, minimize one more time. Or I could even ally switch. 
I think I benefit more from just guard splitting, to be honest. I'll just guard split again. As they try to make a read and it doesn't pay off. And they miss again. Awesome. Seismic toss. Guard split a second time. Now I'm up to... Uh... Oh, I think it just doesn't even matter. It doesn't average again. I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, I'm not very versed in chance EBS, so... Let me go for a seismic toss. Ooh, I definitely need to keep Lyapart around to beat the Calyrex Shadow in particular. And I actually need to get in versus that. So I'm going to Seismic Toss the Celesteela. And uh, we'll go for a Toxic on the Landorus. Okay. I might have a chance here. There's the Rock Slide. Gets a critical hit, nothing that matters. And here, uh, I actually definitely need to go for a Foul Play or something. I mean, I can 100% actually just stall out this Calyrex Shadows stuff, so... Um, I guess I'll just go for a Seismic Toss on Landorus, and I'll attempt to Foul Play. Yeah, it didn't work out. Went for the Earthquake. I mean, a Foul Play on Landorus will KO now. So I'll Seismic Toss the Celesteela for a KO and go for a Foul Play on Landorus. And then I just have to beat the, uh, <laughs> the Calyrex Shadow with PP Stall. Which shouldn't be too difficult. As they actually go for it on the Chansey. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So, um... <clears throat> I might be in range of their ghost move, but probably not. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize. And I'll go for a Protect. Astral Barrage. That's probably going to kill me, uh, but I don't really matter. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to win off a of PP. Go for the Ally Switch for no reason. What if I Copycat? Oh, dang, no, Minimize went first. How can I go about this? Um, <clears throat> it would have been so cool to Astro Barrage. Let me ally switch and foul play. Not that I'm going to live. Yeah. Now, they do have a special attack boost, but it doesn't really matter. Expanding Force misses. Awesome. I'm just going to keep clicking Ally Switch. There's no reason not to. Ally Switch. This is going to be a long end game. If it ends up being way too long and they don't forfeit, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end for you guys in the video. Okay, so uh, despite me pointing out the fact that I had like over double the PP this guy had, uh, he decided to keep playing and ended up losing due to inactivity. So that's, that's a win for game one. <laughs> I literally got up and like made a cup of coffee while I was playing. Like I would just run in and click a button while he was doing it, so... Yeah, I don't know what his game plan was there. I guess he was hoping my internet would disconnect. Which is an endgame on Showdown, so we'll, we'll, we won't fault him for that. Um, it looks like... You too, pal. What do I feel? What do I feel? Some, like, hate in the pal. <laughs> Alright, um... Look at this team, I don't think I'm going to. I know. Another chance he never wanted to try it. <laughs> yeah, um... Let me see. Vid. <clears throat> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Okay. <laughs> Enough messing around here. Um... So. What do I do? Uh, obviously, like, follow me could be really annoying for setting up the trick room. I think I might just go for it anyways. Yeah, I can go Hatterene Lyopard and actually just go for a fake out and set up Trick Room manually. Bring Shuckle in the back and Chansey. Uh, there's no Intimidator on this team, so there isn't much of an incentive to do the thing. Let me think. So obviously a Priority Tailwind could mess me up here if they go for it. I'm just going to go ahead and set it up manually then. We'll go for the Trick Room and the fake out on the Moltres. Nice. Go ahead and go for the Max Smite. They don't have great switch-ins to this. In fact, I might actually just go for the Max Mindstorm and the Whimsicott for that reason. And a Foul Play as well. 
Because I don't know if they'll stay in with Moltres. As they do. Okay. Magic bounce the fake tier. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> I'm sorry, little one. They actually did a lot of damage. Bloody hell, I forgot about that. I do too sometimes. Here's the Zacian crown. Um, now would be a decent time to just go for the max smite. Or actually, damage on Zacian crown is more important than anything in this matchup. Go for the max mindstorm in a foul play. Since I should be outspeeding it uh, with my Liapart as well. This should actually do a decent amount. Just because it's at plus one and Zacian has like the highest attack stat ever. That's fine, let's do it again. <laughs> I don't really care about Moltres too much. And, um, yeah, just do it. Because regardless of what happens, I'll get my chance in next turn. Cool, get in the shuckle. I could actually set up a minimize right now. But I think it's better just to get in shuckle. Guard split, Hatterene. Hopefully no follow me. Yep. There's the Yawn. Let me go for a Minimize here. And uh, we will Toxic this Moltres just to deal with it. Actually, might, now might not be a bad time to get in Hatterene as I Minimize, just so I can get a Trick Room off. Yeah, let me Minimize again. And I will Trick Room here. I'm not able to survive, but I do get my Minimize, so I'm cool with that. Uh, let me go for a Seismic Toss on the Moltres. It's really my biggest it's my biggest issue right now. Go for a Toxic as well. Stay Helping Hand. See if I can somehow pull this back. Get the Toxic off. That's great. Get a Minimize again. And uh, suppose Infestation on Togekiss isn't a bad idea. Or actually, Infestation on Moltres makes more sense, because I don't really care about Togekiss. Actually, yeah, Tokus could be annoying. Um, matter of fact, let me seismic toss Tokus just in case. Come on, Chansey, wake up. Still asleep. Uh, we'll go for the... How do I deal with this? I guess my play is to... Minimize once more. Hopefully I wake up. Got the minimize off. Can Yawn miss? It can't. Okay, that's actually really annoying. Let me soft boiled. Okay, they go for that. That's fine. Seismic toss. At this point, it's just get rid of Tokus. Probably win. As they opted to Yawn this turn. No! All right. I might be able to do this, but it's going to be really, really tough. I always have to Seismic Toss here. And I'm just going to keep clicking Soft Whale until I wake up. Come on, Chansey. You have, you have some time here. You have some time. I need you to wake up. Nice. Okay. Seismic Toss. Luckily, um, Sacred Sword also ignores positive stat boosts. So I'm just going to alternate Soft Boiled and Seismic Toss. Really, the only way I lose is a crit, I think. I did 25.8, so I'm going to have to hit it twice anyways. No crit. GG. Well played. Nice. Okay. How long is this video? It says it's 20 minutes, but I know for a fact like six of those were uh, uh, <laughs> were just skipping turns on games today. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Hopefully I can pull off the Zamazenta lead. I really just want to... Oh, that, there it is. All right, we're going to go for it. This is going to be the last uh, the last battle of the video anyway, so I'm just going to go for it. Zamazenta Thunderous lead, uh, and we just bring Chansey and Shuckle in the back. Basically, what this lead intends to do is take advantage of them really, really wanting to lead off with the Incineroar versus this. 
Hopefully we can take advantage of that. That'd be really cool. Let me write GLHF. All right. Yeah, like this, this so far has been kind of a fun team to use, but I really want to be able to like super, super capitalize on like the uh, Intimidate leads. He's thinking, he's like, what is this? Come on, Incineroar. Dang it, okay, that's fine. Um, I suppose here, there's really no issue with just going for a coaching on the Thunderous as well as a Protect. I don't really lose much from that unless they decide to close combat Zamazenta, which I would take anyways. Because they attempt to Trick Room. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. What's the worst that'll happen here? Uh, they don't really have a switch into Behemoth Bash. I and mean, Close Combat does more. I'd rather Behemoth Bash, though. Hmm. They set up the Trick Room for me, so I guess I could just go with that, like, Dynamax play that I usually do. Because I can always just, like, Dynamax and then take advantage of the Trick Room on the last couple of turns. They're expecting a Max Airstream. Yeah, I guess my play would be Behemoth Bash, Wild Charge, and I'll Dynamax later. I don't care. I don't really need Thunderous to win, you know? Oh, it started raining outside. That's fun. Um, don't really care about what they just did here. I'll just go for another Double Protect, since they don't really have any good Dynamax options on the board right now. I'd assume they would protect here and try to go for like a Willow Whisper and Nightshade. Yep. Cool. And what I can do is get in the Shuckle and go for a Wild Charge. And the reason I'm doing this is because on this next turn, I'm literally just going to eliminate the Zacian and switch in the Chansey to go for the Guard Split, and then that's probably game. As they fail to protect. They actually reversed the Trick Room, interestingly enough. But I don't know how much that helps them. There's the Dragapult. Yeah, I should be able to Guard Split here. Or I could actually just Dynamax and get back in Zamazenta. I'll go for the Max Airstream. There's no way the Dragapult actually KOs me. Granted, it could go for a uh, Phantom Force. So maybe my play is to get in Zamazenta and Max Airstream the Dusclops, anticipating Phantom Force. As they Dynamax. So unfortunately, probably not going to get a KO here, but I could actually go for a really strong Behemoth Bash. Yeah, okay. That looks fine. Behemoth Bash seems kind of free. But I could also just get in Chansey for my Zamazenta and Guard Split and win. So I'm going to do that. Because <laughs> they're going to go for um, a Ghost move here. So I'll get in Shuckled, because they should always Ghost move my Zamazenta. I can Guard Split here. Then again, they could go for a Dragon move, but I think Chansey's just barely going to eat that. Let's see. Like, it would it would make sense for them to go for the, the ghost move here, right? Nice. Okay. Because they pain split. I don't care. The damage is done. Um, I should be able to go for a Toxic on the Dusclops. If I ally switch. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get in Zamazenta and minimize up. So 
they go for a parish song. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's actually fine. Let me think. What'd they go for last turn? Dragon Dance. Interesting. I'm just gonna close combat this Lapras and get in the Shuckle. I don't really care that I just lost that boost. Makes sense. Dragon darts actually did a lot. Can I take a dragon darts? Let me think. Let me behemoth bash this dragapult and hope I can somehow win. And I'll go for the toxic on the dragapult as well. If they go for a dragon darts here, I should be able to live with Zamazenta. Oh, they crit me. Dang it. Okay, that was like the only way they won. Well, that's unfortunate. And go for the minimize. Maybe they'll stay in with the Dragapult and I can win. Nah, they don't. Alright, GG. That's unfortunate. Anyways, I'm just gonna call the video there. Like I said, that was gonna be the last one anyways, but... Overall, I think this team works fine as a Chansey team. I don't think it's like the best Chansey team, but it is the funniest for Restricted, because you're running literally THE defensive Pokemon. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like, and then subscribe to the channel to turn notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, also, also, I'm live streaming tonight at 5pm, so be sure to be there. It might be 7pm, might be 5pm, probably 5pm. See you guys then. Have a nice one.